In this video, we'll show how to use labels for the radio buttons on our form. We must use labels to make our form fields uh, accessible for a wider range of devices and audience. So to add a label, we'll follow this comment. Use the ID attribute to give the field an ID that will be used by the for attribute in the label elements. So we'll add a, an ID to each of our inputs, input fields. So this would be car, this would be walk, this would be plane, this would be bus, and this would be tram. I won't do this part, but we should. I won't do it just so we can compare the difference between having a label and not having one. Now the second part would be to link this ID to our label element using the for attribute. So we'll start off by having a label and then using the for element, a for, sorry, for attribute, we'll link it to this ID. So whatever you've put in for the ID should be the same in for the for attribute. And then we'll also close off our, our label like this. Now I'm going to save and refresh so we see we can click on the label or on the car. So this is what is our label. Whatever is sitting here would be what we can select when we click on the element or the field. Whereas with the other ones we can't really select. So you can see how much accessibility we can add to our form by adding the labels. So let's do the others. Sure, I'm not really knowing how to. So this would be for the walk ID, and we're doing walking. This would be for our plane, this one, the plane. I uh, kind of lost myself over there. Okay, so here, plane, and. That would be for our bus. And one more. That will be for our tram. It's really important that you change this, otherwise it's, it will select. It will um, not work properly. So let's save and refresh. So we can now click on our labels. The form is much more accessible, so you can see how clicking anywhere on the label will select the radio button because we've linked it to the ID, uh, to its ID using the for attribute. Now for the second question, we can't really click anywhere on the text. We need to actually literally just click on the radio button. That's the only way we can check the element or the radio field. And this could not be possible on some devices. That's why you need to use labels to increase the accessibility of your form. And I hope this helps you and I'll see you in the coming ones.